Hey friends, I have a project I want to do um, and what I want to do is I want to build a island in my garage for projects and for reviews and all kinds of stuff. So my garage is your basic 20 by 20 kind of garage. I have some cabinets on this side over here, some cabinets over here, I have a toolbox here and I want something here that's five by five roughly. Now, I looked into making it out of hardwood and I've made, made them in the past, but it just, the price of the hardwood compared to what I found at Harbor Freight um, was just such a difference that I decided to buy um, two of these, basically two of these hardwood benches that they sell at Harbor Freight and just screw them together and that would give me a nice, uh, it'd be 40 inches wide by 60 inches long workspace. So it's pretty close to what I was looking for. Um, it also has, you know, a vise built on each end. So I can clamp stuff down or, you know, use it to, for all kinds of stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to Harbor Freight, buy these things, assemble them, and screw them together and you can check it out how I you know basically how easy it's gonna be and maybe you might want to build one for yourself so let's get started first thing I have to do before I make my island in the garage is take everything out and make some space so it's gonna take me a minute and yes I have no idea where any of the stuff is gonna go after I make the island in the garage should actually be enough room. So these are the workbenches that I got. Two of them, hardwood, should work perfectly. So there's actually like a million pieces in the box, so. I actually think I am gonna need the directions. Mind you, right in the directions it says, more than one person is needed for proper assembly. I'm gonna prove that wrong. Too bad. It's kind of like a particle board with a double, like a stiff particle board. It's decent. So right out of the box, this drawer side was broken, so I'm going to have to glue it back together. So I'm just going to use a little tight bond and just glue a little bit of glue on the area there that needs to be glued. Yes, I'm using a sawzall blade, but so be it. Quickest thing I could find. And it will work just fine. Let's try to match. 
match it up here. Squish it together. And I'm just gonna lay it down on this bottom rung and put a weight on it. Something is a weight. Bag of bits. So our fixed piece of of uh, this kind of actually cheap laminated wood thing is fixed and ready to go uh, back onto the or ready to go into the drawer. Okay, so I made a mistake that I want you to make. The It matters which side panel you put on because they have a, the, the way the, the, the way the slide goes is it's got a one end that's open and one end that's, that's closed and the open ends need to be towards the back of the drawer but it doesn't really say that anywhere so now I have to flip them that's exactly why you always put the cap on your glue it was kind of nice to have a workbench to build my workbench with so the next one should go much quicker. Uh, I'm gonna try to do it without using the instructions. So we'll see how this one goes. Just like a wise old man once told me, cleaning up is, uh, well, I don't know if it's a huge part of the job, but it's an important part of the job. Cleaning up is an important part of the job. So it looks like with each table comes one broken drawer side. I'm gonna have to glue this one as well. Yes, this time I'm using a small screwdriver. I'm known for grabbing the closest tool and using that in an improper manner. So. But it's really about getting the job done. So, basically all of the little ball bearings on the drawer slide came out and I'm trying to put it all back together. So, always something, never nothing. <sighs> all right, that's it. They are now both put together. Next step is to assemble the two into my square. I did realize that you have to take out the top two drawers in order to connect the two uh, with screws to get to the band in the middle that you can put some screws through to really cinch them up. So here's my workbench finished. Feels pretty sturdy. Um, I'll sit on it. 
I'll stand on it. We'll do a little dance. So, it feels pretty strong. Um, it was, I would say it's about 20% harder than putting together an Ikea product, but, um, but it is solid wood and I think it's gonna, it's gonna fit the needs that I am gonna use it for. So, thanks for watching and hopefully you learned something and maybe you'll build yourself one of these in your garage. <laughs>